Avneet Modi and her parents try to figure out how to recover the nearly $12,000 they've lost in tertiary education fees in Canada. The college Avneet was supposed to go to in Montreal is one of three which declared bankruptcy this month and closed. I'm in a big mess right now because it was my father's money. He earned a lot with so hard work and now I'm like, I have wasted all that money because I forced my father that I want to go abroad and want to study, I want to live freedomly, independently. 23-year-old Avneet and others like her in cities throughout Punjab have been protesting and appealing to the Indian government to help them get a refund. The government in Quebec province is investigating the admission practices of the three colleges which shut down. Another 10 colleges were suspended last year while investigators checked whether they were admitting international students who didn't meet English language requirements and also squeezing the mandatory 20 study hours a week into two to three days so that students could find a job for the rest of the week. Sending students abroad is big business in India, with agents taking hefty commissions from students' fees. More than 500,000 Indian students travel abroad for their tertiary studies every year, but researchers say less than a third are admitted to established universities. The others go to what are considered substandard colleges in their attempts to get citizenship, or they're deceived by people posing as education agents. Al Jazeera requested an interview with Avneet's agency, but they refused. So you don't need an agent. Police in the city of Patiala told Al Jazeera that the desire to go overseas makes many fall for false promises rather than doing their own research. To verify the credentials of the agents or the educational institutes that are claiming that they'll uh, get you employment or they'll get you admission in the colleges and uh, universities abroad. But immigration and education consultants who are accredited by foreign governments say the problem is that anyone is allowed to start a study abroad agency in India. Having a license doesn't mean that this person is qualified. License only means your premises have been identified as having an office. There's no checking of qualifications by the government to see if someone is capable of doing the work. Dawar and many others are calling on the Indian government to regulate the massive industry while Avneet and thousands like her try to get their families' life savings back. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, Patiala, Punjab.